Hey guys, it's Heather. So today I have more of a glamorous look for you guys. Um, I definitely think this could be holiday, um, you know, holiday party. I think it's dramatic, but it's nothing like too dramatic and you can definitely tone it down if you wish. But um, I actually ordered the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, I think two months ago? like right after it came out and it still was in the box up until today. I have not touched it. It was in my drawer. I don't know. I like, I wanted it so bad. Everybody made it, you know, uh, look so beautiful whenever they showed it and the swatches and all that stuff. And I didn't really watch too many looks with it, but when I ordered it, it just kind of sat there and sat there and sat there. And so I thought, you know, I want to dig out my Urban Decay Vice 2. So that's what I did. Um, I had the original one, the Vi or the, not the original, well, the Vice, the first Vice. Yeah, I had that one and I did sell it in a makeup sale because I never used it. But I do think that the Vice 2 is a little bit more wearable and the colors are absolutely gorgeous and stunning. So I wanted to do kind of a different look. I really wanted to use that bright silver shade, um, which is called Shell Shock. Uh, kind of a tongue twister if you say it too fast. But yeah, I really wanted to use that and I love the way this look came out. I think it's so beautiful and I just... Uh, glamorous and I love it. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to create this uh, for you guys. Um, just, you know, something a little different because I know I do a lot of neutral, neutral, neutral. And um, I've had a few people ask, can you do something a little bit different other than neutral? So I stepped outside of the box and I'm absolutely in love with this. You can definitely add like wing liner. I struggle with wing liner. Like sometimes I'm really good and then sometimes I'm not. So like I did one eye and then like, I put winged eyeliner on and I messed it all up so I had to remove it. So this time I just thought, you know what, I don't even need wing liner. I don't typically wear it because I'm so, like my hand's not very steady and I just can't find the product that I really like and it's just a mess. But yeah, and I did add some false lashes so you can do that too. I just figured that they just added a little bit of a flare. So I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and that you do try it out. And if you do, definitely uh, tag me um, on Instagram or Twitter. I do have an Instagram and I do have a Twitter um, and I would love to have you guys there. I do have a Facebook page that I started like quite a while ago and I haven't done anything with it in a while so I may start that back up. Same thing with the blog. I just don't really tend to... Um, play with it a little, you know, enough. But um, yeah, th that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see how to create this look, then just keep watching. The shadow that I'm taking is Urban Decay's Habit from the Vice 2 palette. And I'm just taking that with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm applying that to uh, my transition area just to give me a nice blended effect. I do this pretty much with every look. Always try to find a skin tone color that works. Then I'm going to go in with Mac Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream with the same Sigma E40. This is just a little bit deeper, a little bit more warm um, than the one from the Urban Decay palette. So I'm just kind of blending these two together and um, just applying it in the transition, kind of slightly in the crease, just diffusing it out. So here you're going to see me just um, blending everything together, making sure it's nice and seamless. Um, that way everything else kind of blends a lot more easy. Then I'm going to go in with Dope with this angled MAC brush and apply this as my brow highlight. And then I'm going to go in with my MAC 222, um, no this is my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to take the color Rewind in the palette and this is just like a deeper skin tone color and I'm applying this deep into the crease and I'm going to blend it in with the two transition shades. Um, so this is that same 217 brush and just kind of uh, diffusing it out, making sure everything blends together. I don't want any harsh lines at all. So um, with putting those transition shades, it made it a lot easier for everything to blend. Now I'm going to go back in with my E40 with no additional product and further blend everything together. I do this in all of my makeup looks and it's just something that I enjoy doing because it makes it blend so nicely. And if you are interested in the E40, definitely check it out. Don't question it because it's my most used brush. I love it and I'll leave a link in the description box where you can find um, these great Sigma brushes. So I'm still blending. <laughs> And next, I'm going to go in um, 
with the colors Smoke Out and Voodoo. So Smoke Out is just a really dark color and Voodoo is a really beautiful purple. And I'm gonna apply this with my MAC 222 brush. Um, as you can see these mixed together, it creates a really dark, purpley um, crease shade and I'm applying this in the outer edge of my eye and into the crease slightly. Um, these colors are very pigmented so um, you just want to place the color and then further blend um, as you go but make sure that the first thing that you do is definitely place it because you want to get it exactly where you want it and then take your E40 brush or any blending brush that you like to use and further blend it out. So that's what I'm doing here. Sorry, I haven't filmed a voiceover in a while. I'm kind of like acting like I've never done it before. <laughs> and then I'm just checking myself, making sure it looks nice. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Shell Shock. Oh my God, the most beautiful pigmented shade in the entire universe. And I'm applying this with a Sigma F70 brush. This is actually a concealer brush, but it's a really good alternative to the MAC 242 um, brush that I always use, but that one was sturdy. And then I definitely applied um, my Urban Decay Chill Spray. You can use water, Fix Plus, whatever you want to make that lid color stand out even more as you can see here. But I did place it and then I wet my brush before I went in the second time. Here I'm taking Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, one of my all-time favorites, with a MAC 224 Special Edition brush. And as you can see, it really warms up the crease. I absolutely love this. You don't have to do it, but I really like the warmth of this shadow. So I'm just applying it there blending everything together and then I'm going to go in with my E40 again it's a little fluffier not so dense as the MAC 224 and just making sure everything blends furthermore then I'm going to go in with this Sigma E45 I love this brush to define the crease and I'm taking more of smoke out and voodoo and I'm really defining that crease I'm almost like a cut crease but not quite as in depth I guess you would say um, but I really want that crease nice and dark so this brush comes to a point this is an amazing brush and um, it really defines that crease it fits right into that socket and you can definitely blend with it pretty decent so I love that now I'm taking um, my Mac 212 brush and I'm applying smoke out and voodoo um, to my lower lash line just very close to my waterline so that's all I'm doing here. I did a horrible job at filming this, and I'm sorry about that. And then I'm going to take this Essence of Beauty uh, small crease brush, and I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, and I'm just going to further blend that line out. It's going to give my lower lash line um, some nice warmth to it and blend that um, the two purple shades really nicely. Now I'm going to take my MAC 217 and go in with the shade Betrayal and apply that into the crease. And then this is MAC Smolder Eyeliner into my waterline. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte In The Cuff Blush Palette and um, I showed you that with the plastic on it and I didn't like it so now I'm showing it to you again. And I'm actually taking the bronzer in the palette which is Park Avenue Princess and applying this with my Sigma F20 brush. This is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer and I'm just applying that um, to warm up my complexion since I'm kind of pale. And um, this bronzer is very universal. I think it's beautiful. It's not too harsh for my fair skin and I really like the way it warms up my skin tone so love 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 this bronzer and then I'm going to go in with my blush which is in the same palette and this is in the shade crave this is a beautiful blush very pigmented and I'm applying that to my cheeks with my Sigma F40 this blush again like I said earlier is very pigmented so you want to definitely be careful um, but it's beautiful peachy coral shade maybe I'm horrible at describing colors but beautiful 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 blush I love 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 and then I'm taking my MAC Soft and Gentle MSF. I used to be obsessed with this and I haven't used it in a while. And when I used it here, I remembered how much it's like amazing and beautiful. And I'm applying that with a e.l.f. stipple brush to the apples of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, above the cupid's bow, um, all the places you highlight. I love this highlighter. If you are looking for a good highlighter, definitely check this one out. It's absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in Nice and Spicy. I love the formula of these Pro Longwear Lip Pencils. They last forever and they are super creamy and so easy to work with. 
I just love them so much. I got this one at a CCO and I was super excited because it's amazing. Now I'm going to go in with my Milani Nude Cream Lipstick. Um, this is my first Milani lipstick and I really, really like it. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm not really fond of the smell though, but I love it. And then to top that off, I'm going to go in with NYX Butter Gloss and Cream Brulee. Um, I absolutely love this gloss. It's almost out. I just go get this. It's beautiful. And then to top everything off, I'm going to spray myself with my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. So my makeup lasts forever. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Love you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays. Bye.